Hey YouTube, I have one word for you guys. Pancakes, that simple. Today we're gonna make pancakes. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you a few different toppings that I love to use with mine. Um, it gives me more volume and a lot more taste than just your regular plain old pancake syrup. So that's it, all I have to say, let's get to it right away. These are the ingredients that we will be using for the pancakes and as usual, all the ingredients will be in the description. But we have our almond milk, egg whites, fat-free Greek yogurt, regular all-purpose flour. We have some vanilla, baking powder, and Splenda. And the vanilla and Splenda are totally optional. I just like my pancakes to be a little bit sweet. Okay, so I have everything weighed out now. Here I have all-purpose flour, baking powder, and I also have my Splenda. Uh, like I said, the Splenda is optional, but I do like a little bit of sweetness. Here, I have Greek yogurt, uh, I have a little bit of almond milk, and also the vanilla extract. And lastly, here we have our egg whites. So now we're going to get to whipping the egg whites. Okay, so here we have it. And just to let you know, we didn't get them into meringue. We got them nice and fluffy, but there's still some liquid in the bottom, which is perfectly fine. Now let's get to mixing our next ingredients. And a huge and super important suggestion that I have is to make sure that you start off with a big enough bowl on the first try, instead of using small bowls for several tries. Oh, let's get to mixing. And this is something I always say, we have weighed everything out and everything is counting towards our calories. So let's try to make sure we get everything, everything out of here. And since I already have this out and I have not washed it yet might as well get to using it we'll start off just a little bit like this because I'm kind of scared I'm gonna make a horrible mess okay now we're gonna add the egg and like I mentioned earlier we whipped these very well but there's still some liquid at the bottom so what we're gonna do is try to get the liquid out of here first before we add all the fluffiness now we're gonna mix that in before we continue Okay, and unfortunately, that is as far as we can go with the tools. From here, we're gonna add the rest of it and fold it by hand. Okay, so now get your designated folding tool and let's get to folding. This time we're gonna just pour it all in and be as gentle as you can. We already put the liquid portion of it, the rest of it is just fluff. This, along with the, with the baking powder that we added, is gonna give us nice, fluffy, airy pancakes. Let's get to folding. Alrighty, there we have it, our pancake batter. So now let's get to making pancakes. In the next step, we have our pan. Let's get the heat on. Definitely on low heat. And next, we're gonna get our butter. I mean, our butter flavor spray. I was just kidding, definitely not using butter. My calories cannot afford that, but we have butter flavored. I'm gonna let that go for a little while because we wanna get some heat, because right now this is completely cold. So I'm gonna get to cooking these pancakes and then we will go to our next step. I'm gonna show you three different pancake toppings that I love to make. Okay, and here we go. This is the very, very last one. And in my opinion, this is the one that came out the most beautiful. Look at that. Turning off the heat. And there we go. Let's check out what our plate looks like. Okay, have a look. Very, very nice looking stack. And we have six of them. And the reason I have all these plates is because I'm going to use these for separate toppings. Here are the ingredients for our next step. And it's actually three different things that we're going to make. That's why it looks like so much. Uh, for one of them, we have raspberries and strawberries. We're going to make a strawberry raspberry sauce and finish it with a little drizzle of chocolate syrup. For our second topping, we're gonna do kind of like an apple pie, or well, apple pie inspired topping. So we got two apples, some cinnamon, and we're gonna use this caramel to drizzle it on top at the end. And for the last one, to keep the holiday vibes going, we're gonna do it like a pumpkin pie inspired topping. And then I'm gonna take some uh, Greek yogurt, vanilla, a little bit of almond milk, and I will be using Splenda throughout all of these. Okay, so let's get started. What I have here are my berries already weighed out and these over here, I'm gonna keep these fresh. I'm gonna use these to top them off so it looks nice. If I were to use only cooked ones, you'll see how they come out at the end and you can't even recognize what it is. Let's get started. Let's get some heat going. Again, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of our butter flavored spray. And I did already taste a few and they were not extremely sweet. So I'm gonna be adding Splenda to taste and I won't be putting how much Splenda I use because it is based on how sweet or not sweet the fruits are. Do that to your liking. And 
And the only thing I have here on the side is a little bit of water that I'm going to be spooning in as needed. I'm going to start off a little bit of salt. It'll help them uh, release some liquid and you know, salt is flavor. Even for something sweet, a little salt goes a long way. Alrighty, so I'm going to get to cooking this. Okay, and the sauce is right about done. Time for the last finishing touches. So here we go, and here we go. Let's get a little bit going in here. It's a, it's a very small portion, so we don't need that much. But this will brighten it up and give it a beautiful flavor. And the fragrance, can't go wrong with that. Just give it a mix in. And at this point, the heat is off. I had already seasoned it to my liking. And as you can see, I've been smashing the, the fruit, so you can't even tell what kind of fruits we started with. That's why, like I said earlier, I kept some of them raw, so we could put them in and you could see what it is. And lastly, take our paring knife and just a few drops. That's it. Alrighty, our first sauce is done. Okay, let's continue with the next sauce. Get our heat going. Like I mentioned earlier, this one is inspired by hot apple pie. I love pies. And again, I kept some of the apples fresh. And here it is just lemon water so they don't go brown on me. And these, I am going to leave them here for a little while so they can get a little browning so they can release their own sugars before I add anything else. Okay, for this one, so far I've only added a pinch of salt. I'm not gonna add any Splenda until they get much softer. But I just wanted to let you know that um, as I'm going, I'm adding spoonfuls of water. These are just by the eyeball. This is gonna help the apples get soft quicker so they can turn into a nice saucier consistency. And I'm gonna let these go until I'm able to easily kind of smash them. Right now, they're still, they still have their crisp. But we're gonna let these go for a little bit longer. And I'm just gonna continue to add water, let it reduce, add water, let it reduce. And then once I'm able to just smash them up, then I'll taste them and see if I need to add any sugar. Okay, and we are at the final steps. So now, over here I have one teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm gonna add that now, stir it in. Okay, now that it's mixed, I'm gonna hit it with a couple little spoons of water. And this one is the one that takes the longest, but it's only because I like to make sure the apples are really, really cooked down. I mean, as you can see, the cinnamon absorbed the water very quickly. But as soon as I see that it's been getting dry on me so it doesn't burn, that, that is when I've been adding more water. I'm gonna hit it just a little bit of sugar. And again, this is just based on how sweet they are and how sweet you like your, you know, your applesauce. As you can see, now it's getting a more saucy consistency. And as you can see, it's not liquidy anymore. Nice consistency. And this sauce is done. So now let's move on to the very last one. Okay, and we're down to the very last one. Let's get our pumpkin pie style filling. And this one is going to come together super, super quick. And this is unsweetened. Straight pumpkin right here. Some almond milk. Let's lower the heat a little bit, I have it too high. As we did for all of them, a little, little bit of salt. And for these, I'm not gonna put any amounts because you'll see it's just a tiny bite, tiny bit. We have nutmeg. These are very strong, so you're gonna wanna go very light on them. We have mace. Again, just a tiny little bit. And we have some cardamom. Let's give these a quick mix. And I can tell you right now, it already smells like pumpkin pie. Now we're gonna use our Splenda, one tablespoon. Okay, we're all done, ready to serve. So I'll meet you guys at the table. Okay, and there we have it. We are at the end. Here are all our sauces. The only thing that I did off camera was this one right here. It's a little bit of a Greek yogurt, vanilla, and Splenda that we're gonna use just to drizzle on top of this one over here. Um, they all have their sauces and their toppings. So now I'm gonna get to plating these things up and then I'm gonna get to eating. Normally, this is very quick, but I wanted to show you guys three different sauces. I didn't just wanna make a pancake video and nothing else. So that's why this video you know, took a little bit longer. Hope you guys enjoy the sauces. And there we have it. My plating and presentation needs some work without a doubt, but I promise you it tastes really good. Yeah, this one definitely needed a little work on presentation, but like I said, I promise you it's gonna taste amazing. Okay, so now I will see you guys at the table because I am super, super hungry.
Hey YouTube, so here we have it. Our three different forms of pancakes, three different sauces, three different toppings. Of course, it's the same pancakes, but like I said earlier, I didn't just wanna do a pancake video with nothing else. So I decided to show you some toppings that I like to do to make them more tasty, more delicious, instead of our usual, you know, Walden Farms or sugar-free syrup. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, I'm super hungry, so let's get to it right away. Where to start, where to start. Those are the kind of difficult choices I like having. So when I was cooking them, to me, personally, I love, love, love pumpkin pie. So this one smelled the best to me. So I'm gonna leave this one for last. And then let's try this one. I couldn't quite form an opinion after the first few bites. So it's gotta be sure, gotta be sure that I'm sure. So the sauce is amazing. The little bit of lemon and the lemon zest that we put to it brightens it up to a whole nother level. And then in my opinion, you know, like strawberries and berry sauces with chocolate, they just go so, so well. This one for me was straight out of the park home run. One last bite before we move on. And just to let you know, these taste like pancakes. These are pancakes. That's why I went with all-purpose flour. You know, everyone wants to be using the new fancy flour, coconut flour, this flour, that flour. But we were making pancakes, so I had to go with the good stuff with the original stuff and find a way to make them a little less calories, but still taste like pancakes. So now moving on. Now we're gonna go here. Okay, and we have a special guest. This happens when I'm cooking, and you know you know it's good when they come out of the room, leave the TV alone to try something out. So Let's see what Ashley thinks of this. She already took a bite, so she's going in for the second one. Yeah. Rico, a la cámara, sí. It's good. Yeah. Sí, está rico. Rico. Yeah. Okay. Approved by the tough customers. Okay, so moving on. Let's continue where we were. Next is our apple pie one. I need a few of these just to make a little room here. Get a fresh apple on the bottom. Here we go. So, so very good. I mean, simply put, you're eating pancakes with an apple pie on top of them. It does not get any more simple than that. So as far as the sauce, I mean, this is basically apple pie filling on our pancake, but we kept it with Splenda, just fruits, and it, it ends up being really, really low calorie, but this is, this is delicious. Like if you eat any of these, you have absolutely no idea that this is low calorie or even healthy. But now to the one that I've been waiting for, like I mentioned earlier, this is just a Greek yogurt, a little bit of vanilla and Splenda. You could definitely use fat-free whipped cream, but I just didn't have any. Oh, and for all of these pancakes, there is topping on top and inside. You can't just put it on top. You have to make sure you get them on both. Let's give it a try. Let me put some of the sauce. Oh, and I just wanted to show you. I hope it looks good, but it's pancakes. You know, they're, they're, they're fluffy and they're filling at the same time. It's delicious. Since I love pumpkin pie, to me, it's not even fair. This one is my favorite, only because like, I really, really, really love pumpkin pie, which I stay away from, but this is, this is a killer substitution. So yeah, here we have it. These are our pancakes and they're super delicious. I just wanna let you know that I received a comment asking for pancakes. So the idea for me to do pancakes, cause I did them for the deluxe breakfast, but those were like, let's call them diet pancakes. These are for real pancakes and it was from a comment. So I do read the comments. I'm working on a few recipes that were, that were commented about. Let me know if there's anything you want, whether it's a specific food item, Item, something from a restaurant a fast food i will work on it i will do my best thanks for being here thanks for chilling with henny and i will see you guys on the next one